It looked like a glue stick. There we go. Hey guys, it's Jess, and today I am on a mission. The mission of going to Forever 21, hence the reason I'm in a mall parking garage right now, and find the weirdest and like ugliest clothing that I can find and try it on. It's way too quiet in this store. So after getting lost in the mall, I finally found the promised land. I entered the store and immediately started seeing really, really, really weird stuff. And I had to try and figure out which ones I wanted to try on because 90% of the weird stuff I was finding was crop tops and it was way too early in the day for that sort of depression. So this first outfit was one of my favorites because it made me feel like a potato that was about to go into the oven. So a pre-baked potato. Next, I tried on this weird top. It was kind of like a crop top, but my torso is so short that it worked. And it literally made me feel like a used coffee filter or like a really weird lampshade, like a combination of the two. Then I tried on whatever the heck this shirt was and the sleeves felt like they could be used as weapons. I don't know, it was weird. I then tried on these shorts that looked like someone on their staff had just crocheted in the back of the store. They were really comfortable, but I did feel like a human pot holder. Next, I tried on this fabulous look that made me feel like I was in the Cheetah Girls if the Cheetah Girls uh, were 70 year old women in a nursing home. This next outfit, I don't even know how I was really supposed to be wearing it. It was like a weirdly long shirt. I felt like a businessman who had like lost a bet. Next, I tried on this shirt. It was like, if you want to wear a t-shirt, but you also have like a funeral to go to, so you need to look slightly more dressed up than a t-shirt. And this last outfit is probably my favorite. It was one that was straight off of the mannequin. And... Um, it just made me feel like I was having a great time at the first Thanksgiving. Wow, wasn't that a fun time? I tried on less things than I originally thought I was going to because they surprisingly had a semi-normal stock of clothing. Like, they didn't have as many weird things as I anticipated. And also, I didn't want to try on a ton of stuff because um, I didn't want to make the fitting room attendants have to hang up, like, a thousand things. And you can only take, like, six items back at a time. Um, and I thought going in the dressing room two times was good enough so if you enjoyed that mediocre content of watching me try on weird clothes make sure you go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and also go subscribe if you have not already thanks for watching and stay gold